Right, hello everybody. I'm just coming back from Westminster. I uh, was at an event uh, with some politicos and Tories. Basically, there is a new, new update that you guys need to know uh, that you will not hear from the mainstream media, as usual. There are a lot of Tory members right now who are revolting against the leadership election results. The, the final round of the parliamentary party round, which was the... Uh, the result was Liz Truss and Rishi Sunak. You can end up with those two. That's the reality. You have no choice <laughs> as Prime Minister and Party Leader for the Conservative Party. Uh, hello to everybody in the live chat. I'm going to come to you guys uh, very soon to get your reaction as well as I walk back home from Westminster. Uh, basically, the, the reality is there's a couple of m movements happening inside the Westminster bubble and actually across the country when it comes to grassroots Conservatives. The, uh, a lot of members of the Conservative Party are basically have started. There is a petition, uh, you might have seen it on social media, maybe some of you, uh, that they want to basically say having two candidates in the final round is not enough. You need to have three candidates. There is a, there is a push for the signature that being, they've collected is about two, over 2,000 members of the Tory party have signed the petition. And 2,000 is quite a big number, considering the Tory party doesn't really have that many members. We don't really have any main political party having that many members. It's not like back in the 60s and 70s when Labour and Tories had like 2 million, 5 million party members. Those days are gone. So having over 2,000 members across the country signing a petition saying you either need to basically have Boris Johnson on the ballot paper as one of the options or have three candidates. Um, because there's a lot of, there's, the idea was to have someone like Kemi Badenov, who did well enough to deserve to be in the next round. The members need, deserve to have their voices heard, even if she doesn't end up winning. That's one argument. But also, they're clearly not happy with being given the options that are Liz Truss and Richard Sunak. Um, we've also heard that Boris Johnson is not going anywhere. Uh, the, his uh, goodbye earlier, the Prime Minister's question, as they said, has to be the baby, which obviously coming from the same film that said, I'll be back. <laughs> a lot of people have been saying earlier at the event that I was in, in Westminster just now, that uh, he might actually just wait around in the, on the back benches in Parliament, wait for the inevitable fallout from either Rishi Sunak or Liz Truss, their government and their cabinet, and make a comeback. So, to be fair, regardless of what a lot of people across the country think, Boris Johnson still had a big base, fan base, inside the Tory party, mainly because they just don't want change for the sake of change. You know, if you're going to get rid of Boris, at least come up with some sort of viable option, rather than, wow, let's just have Richard Sunak, who was Boris the right-hand man, or Liz Truss, who is the inevitable Boris Johnson candidate. That's the problem. Because Liz Truss is standing on a platform of Borisism, saying, well, Boris is gone, so if you want to say this quote, vote for me. Uh, Rishi says, if you want change, vote for me, but then he's, he was part of the same team. So it's slightly confusing for a lot of people and members of the Tory party. That's why, as I said, for those who just joined the live stream, that uh, there's this push inside the Tory membership to, uh, they've been gathering all the signatures for petitions for Tory HQ to have either Boris Johnson on the ballot or have three candidates uh, for the final round, for the membership round. So let me see what you guys actually think about this idea. Uh, Brother D says, it would be fair if the party membership could put up one candidate of their choice independently of their MPs. That is a brilliant idea, actually. I mean, I'm not one for you know, a randomly changing system for the sake of it. But if you're going to have um, maybe like a sort of like a, a dark horse kind of a outsider, to so have, have, have the membership have a say in at least one option. Uh, Anna says, neither will change much. And that is depressing. Hi, by the way. Hello, Anna. Um, we have <laughs> BGG saying, Rishi Sunak is a serpent, and uh, Streaky Bacon says Putin for Prime Minister. <laughs> uh, that's the thing. Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you guys because uh, uh, Finley just said I've cancelled my membership. That's the thing. Part of the 
the revolt that's happening. If you go on Twitter or like maybe Facebook as well, social media, if you search for Tory membership cancellation, you will actually see a lot of uh, Conservative Party members who tonight have uh, cancelled their membership, tearing up their membership cards uh, in, in, in protest uh, because a lot of them wanted Kemi Badenoch as an option, um, as, as one of the guys said just now. Um, despite the result, they would have ideally wanted to have a say because if you're not going to have... It, it, I mean, I get it because if you're going to claim to be democratic, you know, if you're going to have to have hear the members out. If they're not happy uh, by default with Liz Truss or Rishi Sunak or even Penny Morden at the end, then you're going to have to listen to them. Or if you don't really care about the members, get rid of the membership round. Just be honest with the people. Just say, members don't have a say. We're going to get our MPs in the House of Commons to vote for the next leader. But, you know, let's be honest. If that's the idea, then just say it. Uh, because right now, a lot of people are saying, well, we're going to have to revolt. We're going to have to get rid of our membership. We're going to cancel it because these are not the, the options that we wanted. It's not necessarily because they say, well, we want Kemi. I, I heard from the event that I was in, in, in Westminster, there, there were a lot of people who were saying, we were not even pro Kemi Badenov, but we still want more options. We still want someone like Kemi to be at the top, like the, the, the final round, to have a debate, for, for people to have a clear choice. There's no choice right now. There's absolutely no choice. Um, you know, you're going to have to basically choose between being drowned or, or being burned. And it's not really <laughs> ideal. Let's go to the live chat again. Beth Jenkins says that Tories have always been revolting. That's a good point. A party revolts all the time. <laughs> uh, all for walk says Kemi all the way. Uh, Robert says, uh, <laughs> yeah, no one's going to say that. Chris says, we do want Kemi. I mean, that's the thing. There are a lot of people who still, like, members at least, still want to have a say because they do want Kemi as one of the options. But as I said, there's still a lot of people who were not really on Kemi's side, but they still wanted Kemi to be in the final round to have an actual debate, have an actual discussion and a proper like, choice uh, because it, it, it's not really, there's no change. As I just said earlier, Liz Truss is standing on a platform of being Boris's candidate, so that's not a change. Rishi says, I'm the change candidate, but he was literally from the establishment. He was Boris's right hand man. Like, okay, I have no idea why. If if someone is a Tory member, if a Tory member is watching this, I don't blame you guys for being confused. Saying, well, a lot of people have already decided. Saying, well, we're gonna have to go with Liz because never Rishi. Some people are still saying, not proactively being passionate about Rishi Sunak, but saying, well, we might have to be forced to vote for Rishi because. Liz Truss still has not been convincing. Liz Truss has not been impressive. And that is sad. You don't want an election based on, well, I can't really make up my mind, so I'm going to go inevitably with this one or that one. You want an election where people have an actual clear choice. So they can say, well, this one, that one, that one, that's what I want. And that's kind of the problem. So we're going to have basically uh, Tory members cancelling their membership right now tonight on social media. They're posting it. We have the petition, over 2,000 signatures of party members who are asking the party to either yeah, put Boris back on the ballot paper or give, uh, give us uh, three, at least three options. Uh, Savage Media, thank you so much for your super chat as usual, uh, saying Savage Media said, okay, just bring back Boris. I, that's the thing, by the way. Despite all the chaos that happened, the inevitable outcome, as we said on this channel, you know, if they don't get it right, this, this revolt against Boris Johnson, then a lot of people are going to end up being, not because they like Boris, but they're going to be like, well, we miss Boris. <laughs> like, bring Boris back. And that's kind of, a, again, it's extremely sad. So that's the kind of problem. Uh, Nicola Devon says, I don't like Liz Truss at all, rather than the common <laughs> Um Yep, fair enough. Uh, Sydney says, Rishi Sunak is earmarked to bring in the, um, the digital currency, the global currency. You know, the sad thing is, I do, that's my fear with someone like Rishi, the, the globalist side, um, that Liz Truss hasn't really shown properly. But on the other hand, we're going to have to, what, take a gamble with Liz Truss. So, uh, I'm not really... Obviously, on this channel, I'm not going to back any candidates. I'm just going to basically um, scrutinize all sides. Uh, and see what we can actually end up with. But on the other hand, I am extremely hungry. I'm outside Tesco. <laughs> I need to go get a ready meal, like a pizza or something. 
is it? I, I found some wine. I've been walking around all day. I still haven't slept. Last week or so on this channel, we've been bringing you guys all the updates. And thanks to your support, I'm not stopping it. Um, but I'm extremely tired. So I'm going to go. A promo advertiser for Tesco. Where is the fuck? They, they don't have a logo. <laughs> yeah, Tesco logo somewhere. So um, yeah, promo for Tesco. I'm going to go get uh, pizza. What's going on here? I don't know. <laughs> they, got, they got tourists coming into the camera. All right, so I'm going to do that. Um, and uh, I'm going to read a couple of uh, comments as well. Anna says, I'm having pizza Maya in the oven as we speak. Uh, John Lane says, no more hiding money, people. <laughs> uh, Chris says, you work bloody hard. Get some food. Uh, thank you so much for the support, guys. All right, cool. I'm going to let you guys go. I might actually come back. If, if I manage to eat my pizza quickly, it's only 8 o'clock. Might come back because I do have a couple of more updates to tell you guys about. Uh, might have come back in about half an hour to an hour. If you guys are still awake, if you're around, I would love to have your support and watch the video. So thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I'm my TCM. We are the media.